Who Lives Who Dies is an improvised D&D show that may contain violence and adult themes. Content warnings can be found in the description. No, no, you see, it's... it's Imagine the upper half of your body you and the lower half are still moving in a sort of unison. It's been the time of your life. Not good. To who right. lives who right. dies. <laughs> Hello, my name is Matt Bateman, your game master, dungeon master, storyteller. Insert alliterative nickname here. Uh, we'll do that. We'll do that later. We'll put a little sense of art. And we're here to tell a great little DD story with some fantastic friends and performers. Uh, when do they get here? here. <laughs> when do they get here? Yeah, I was, I was we literally did that joke like, last week. <laughs> the friend or the performers part? Oh. 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 Your therapist must make so much money. <laughs> Don't pay them enough. Don't pay them enough at all. Hi, I'm Naomi and I play four. <laughs> oh, cool. I, I had glitter on me at New Year's and it's only now working its way out of my bloodstream. I'm Reese Lawton and I'm playing Tutor Tutorial, who's a little, little clerical wooden boy. My therapist also makes a lot of money off me. I'm David and I'm playing Alexi Karstav. Who, Who is... needs a therapist? <laughs> oh, does he? No, it's a, it's like it's the sun cost fouls. He didn't really know. <laughs> so restart, new game, delete the old save. Some therapist just wasted like their entire career on like, <laughs> desperately trying to like. Yeah. Uh, hi, I'm Sasha Bergoy, and I play Myla. I'm also here. <laughs> And you're fine. And I'm fine. You're fine. Your your therapist is paid an appropriate amount. <laughs> <laughs> Has an appropriate workload. <laughs> a healthy work life balance. Yeah, I exactly. Think. Yeah, 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 Jesus yeah. Christ. She gets to go home at like four thirty, four forty five. You know, has a nice time with the family afterwards. Plays yeah. Laser Quest. Plays a lot of Laser Quest. Really? It's a surprising amount. Yeah, she is. Do they have like their own gamer tag or know, do they yeah. just <laughs> a lot of free time? Yeah, it's a lot of yeah. free time. Yeah, a lot of free time. <laughs> How does this uh, drawn-out introduction make you feel? <laughs> uh, deflect, 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 and let's get on with episode 22 <laughs> of Who Lives, Who Dies. Drum roll, please. <laughs> The evening breeze blows from the west across the white crowned peaks. A young elven woman holds her cloak and shivers softly, seeing her breath materialize before her. She glances above through a gap in the canopy of trees that surround her. A familiar blue moon shimmers above. She looks on ahead and continues her journey, barely acknowledging the gentleman who matches her stride. Pale red skin and dressed in crimson and ebony, they silently journey together, step by step. A sharp smell hits you on the nose, the smell of oils, cheese, baking bread and fresh fruits wafting their way into your room. For those of you who slept last night, you each awake to the pleasant smells and sounds of cooking, where your gracious host, Fairy, appears to be cooking up a storm. It is a new morning, a new day, you've all completed long rests. What happens next? Yeah, that definitely t told me what happened last time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck? Who the fuck is this red bitch? I mean, I, What's oh, that about? Don't know. We don't know. I red know. skin who is wearing this? red. David's like the fashion is the problem. I will riot. <laughs> 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 will riot. <laughs> <laughs> She's wearing a collection of pinks and oranges. A bit close. Human stomach and thus will be downstairs. Fact, no, you change it. You'll wait to like of your stomach kicking off after could, uh, eating nothing but apples all day the day before. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, that's going to be some pooing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you no. you recall you recall the somewhat eventful day after coming back to Greymist uh, with the sheep maze that Toot and Alexi told Lumberance. you about. Uh, the small discovery you and Myla made in the glades, peeking through the thin slits that revealed something of elves in some place to what you believe to be the north. Ferry taking you in for the next week or so while you prepare for the journey. And really right now, all you've got is a bit of time before you explore. Shopping episode! Woo! What happens next? Let's... Spend the party's money! <laughs> Let's ruin the economy! Woo! <laughs> Again, breakfast table, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, if anyone's looking to and around. Uh, what? Two, Alexi actually will be looking for two the oh. minute he's grabbed some kind of creamy spinach thing <laughs> to just creamy spinach for breakfast. Preferably breakfast between champions. like two leaves of cabbage or something. He's not good at actually eating food. Yeah, bro. <laughs> He's like, I kill for a Big Mac right now. <laughs> Myla's just like looking at everything he's eating, like including the apples, just being like, the, the fuck. I have vowed Dude. that I will not eat animals. I'm just rather struggling with um, the rest of it. Have you heard of beige foods? No. <laughs> He's a beige food bitch. He is such a beige food bitch. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what's uh, Senor main character doing? What's going on there? Oh, Fairy. No! Fairy! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm fully going to try to find it. All right, well, well, you're eating your cream spirit and beige foods. Uh, tutorial, what's up? Uh, sat on top of the, well, on, on top of the little observatory bit. Okay. Just on the roof, it's been laying up, looking at it's, stars It's been closed night. overnight. Yeah, 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 yeah. no, no okay. As, no, you, 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 you certainly watched, you, you, you came up to check on four last night and four was okay, clutching. I assume their new staff and never letting it go no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> um, sure, yeah. Was upstairs, was on the roof looking at the stars and just yeah. lost track of time. I move the telescope violently to the left. <laughs> <laughs> Thonk. <laughs> you just hear this, oh dear. Yeah, it's just a crash. <laughs> Thud. And then, I found it. Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> I like the idea that there's just a Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> just the Doppler effect. It's just having a whale of a time yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> you just invented the Doppler effect. How do you feel? Uh, <laughs> Two thousand years too early. Ah, uh, yes. Um, <laughs> Wait, you've got a lot of apples knocking around. We got to drop one of those out of a tree on someone's head. <laughs> uh, just plant seeds Mavity. everywhere. Plant these seeds everywhere that it comes up. Anywhere do you have and everywhere. Right now. <laughs> Who knows? It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's um, a stellar reference. How dare you? It's good. Oh, um. Yeah, so you just hear this knock on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Uh, Myla will go and open it. Hello, I appear to have fallen. And you can't get up? No, I am standing. Okay, that's good. Um, Myla will just <laughs> let you in and be like, I, you. I assume you want to come in. We're having breakfast. Ah, or yum, yum. Whatever it is Alexi's eating. Uh, it's right. We're an apple. Such a beige foosh bitch. <laughs> Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. Um, Myla's just gonna like gently be like, "This is bread. This is cheese." I may have entirely forgotten eggs. Those right. And each time Myla's putting it down, Ferry sticks her head out. Tomatoes. Baked it myself. Hatched it myself. <laughs> <laughs> he hatched it himself. Oh, with the chickens. With the chickens. Oh. <laughs> oh, Did the chickens say it was okay? <laughs> In he goes. Potatoes. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Can May I suggest cooking? Hmm, cooking the eggs. The uh, eggs have been cooked. It's, ah, all, it's good, been good. done. Yeah. <laughs> Fried, boiled. Uh, for about two seconds, the um, expression on Alexi's face is a man who has seen God. Uh huh, uh huh. A really good poached egg will do that for you. Oh, it really yeah. will. It will. Bit um, pepper, touch a hole in it. Sorry, yes. Can I be in the kitchen with Fari? Absolutely. Please. Um, I want to know about his animal experimentation. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> I have questions. So, so, so the, the shelves are the eggs know, they're, square. Made, <laughs> they're made for a regular sized person. So, Fairy's actually on this weird, like, little contraption that sort of wiggle, wheels itself around, sort of floats about a little bit. If the world not will not adapt itself to you, Absolutely. you must adapt yourself to Absolutely. it. Absolutely, that's it. But they kind of like they've tinkered. They see they've made it themselves. Definitely, they're sort of coming through. Oh, yes, what would you like to know? Animal experiment? No, 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 no. The chickens are lovely. I, no, I, you, I, I you said it. you keep animals for experimentation. 
Do you want to tell no me what that's about? And, well, you know, some spells are dangerous, and someone of my size sometimes you need something a little bit smaller to sort of work through. Like, those sheep are a lot smarter uh, now than they used to be. They're quite compliant. I, mm-hmm. I watched your friend. There's no way they get up on a, on a wall all by themselves. Did any of those sheep used to be people but are now sheep? No, 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 oh. no, no. <laughs> As you want them to be. <laughs> I see a little glint in their eye. <laughs> no, 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 oh. no. And they speed up the cooking again. Oh. I can do <clears> that. There's one case of an exploding pig that sort of fell down the side of a mountain, but we don't really talk about that. Uh, it makes Gary quite sad. Um, good Roger. But no, no, it's, it's quite all right. No, no, just just the initial sort of testings and tastings. And sometimes they become people. We've had that a couple of times as well. Um, oh, no. the other way seems very wrong. Uh, it's made for some interesting conversation, I'll tell you what. I talk to Turns a lot of animals, and, and yeah, I can see Geese that. are always assholes, correct? Like, yes, yes, always. Yeah, yeah, even as people. They've yes. gone on to become politicians, huh. mayors, like, like the whole the whole thing. We don't really let them stick around. There's yeah, no fair. Yeah, no. Fair. No, sheep generally pretty chill. Okay. Yeah, every now and then you get one that's big too. Big uh, what's your opinion on squirrels? Little nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Look, no uh, more good friends. Good friends. Good for a drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Joke not found. <laughs> oh, babe. Hmm. Error 404. <laughs> Still working on that. Huh. So, knock, they... knock, knock. Who's there? A squirrel. S- a squirrel who? Nuts. Nuts. <laughs> We're so good at jokes. <laughs> you got Reese. <laughs> It's nice to just watch the laughs of Slyke and do it. Yeah. Just... Yeah, got me. <laughs> oh, it's my little Tom Tom. I like that. Yeah, thank you. I don't know why it just got me. You're so welcome. <laughs> Cyril walks I'm into the kitchen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Puts a tiny little paw on your leg. And... Just a little, are you okay? And then he does I'm a little fine. dance with him. <laughs> I can't believe I got you with the worst <laughs> knock knock joke that has ever existed. That is exactly the shit that gets the fan every time. Oh, uh, it it is so my jam. I, I don't know why it just gets me. It makes I feel me very like happy. There should have been a sociologist here to write a paper on what just happened. <laughs> hey, Gary! Knock knock. Who's there? The interrupting sheep. The interrupting. Sheep. <laughs> a classic. The second worst <laughs> Fairy just sort of stops and wipes the tear away. Hey. Sorry, what's, what's the plan for today? We've got six days until Gary gets back. Each day a new joke. <laughs> I look forward to hearing them. <laughs> Hope you're going to post it up. The top seven worst <laughs> jokes. Not, not jokes in existence. Um, uh, what's in town? I want to know what's around. What's the options? I want to go shopping. Great. Uh, well, um, we need some provisions for, for the week's trip. Um, some horses and some ponies. Uh, a couple of general stores. There's a Lionel's Magic Store, which might be worth a pop in. Magic store. Do you need... I don't think we need horses. If we're heading um, deep through forests, and re- it's more for speed and exhaustion. Well, what if we fly over them? Do you all have the capacity for flight over extended <laughs> periods? I can, I can. Myla turns into a sparrow. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> She's just a little one. She didn't want to be. She was. She thought about the giant eagle, but was like, "There's delicate things around." I would like Hello. to see a pelican. I feel like I that would be hella. They throw up their own spines. They do. It's weird. Saw a bird on it. Scared the shit. It sounds like someone's fucking jealous. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, like yeah. to throw, you, you know what? This isn't relevant. <laughs> if you've seen the levels of pain I will, I'm willing to go through. We, I just laughed at that nod nod joke. It was amazing. <laughs> I can prepare some polymorph scrolls, and we could biff. Um, I can also turn people into things. Right. So it is just the four of you. You're not going to turn up with any more surprise friends. Oh, tomorrow. not as far as I know. Are we planning on? I believe it was six of us because Gary's also coming. Yes, yes, just just the six. So uh, I can be you, a very big bird okay. and yes. I can turn probably Toot as the heavy one into oh. a, another giant bird. Uh, you don't listen uh, to uh, that. Uh, uh, oh. An excellent point has been raised. Um, we've rather forgotten that there is another me in this timeline. Oh, he never appeared. Now, I've, I've, I've met me and I'm a bit of a dick. Um, I'm going to assume that that means he's still around regardless, just, just so, we haven't seen him. But the weird thing is we all came through that same 
place and fell in the exact same place. Was it the exact same place? Yes. Right. And I was conscious. And he was nowhere. Oh, that makes me even more nervous. Maybe he fell the other side of the gate. Maybe he got spit back out. No, we would have seen him. No, no, I mean in the future. Ah, to my understanding of how the gate works, to go into the future, he would have had to have gone in the opposite direction to how you both went in. Mm -hmm. uh, excellent theory. Uh, I don't think, if it's anything like the other one, I don't think it's accurate. Mm, let me explain. Uh, mm, I mean the present as to that, if we're calling now the past. Right. And when you went through, he split this way, so he's in the present and we're in the past. That was my suggestion. Not that he's then gone from the present and further into the future. Hmm. Maybe it's because he was the splitter. Could have been erased. Yeah, maybe you can't travel through time twice. No, no because did you that. did that, didn't you? No, but then they split. What if you do it through something else that then goes. Either way, this is a thing that will take a, a long time to figure out. Um, I suggest we remain vigilant just in case. I think it's nothing to worry about. <laughs> so, that makes me nervous, go on. The, I forgot the fucking word for it. The one who's delicious with the wings, divine. Saskia. Yes. Kate had came through at three different ages. Um, went in once, came out younger, went in again, came out older. Uh, so there are, yes, three versions of her in existence. So maybe it's not, we need to be looking for another you. Maybe we need to be looking for a childhood you. Um, no, she did it more than that. She went in once. Did she come out as like a, a toddler? No, like a teenager. No. She, okay. she went 14, like... 15, perhaps? She, I think she did it twice while I was there and then you all turned up and then she kicked you in and then she went in again. So she went in more times, maybe? Ugh. I don't remember. I'm just saying that we should widen our search and assume that it's not necessarily you as you are now. Hmm. Has anyone seen any Alexi looking boys around? What does Harmond look like? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Harmond, Harmond was, was quite tall, like quite a pronounced sort of, sort of nose, a little bit hairy on the top. Ginger sort of floppy hair and front. Ginger, no, no, we're not, good. not yeah, Alexi. No, we're not Alexi yeah, at all. No. Just, just very long limbs, bit of a gut, like, like you know. Nice this consume. is a weird but, looking kid. Yeah, yeah right. It's got like eight arms. <laughs> this is eyes. this is a Sims it. reject. Oh, it's it's a weird, weirdly large thorax. Yeah, you know, standard it's just kid. It's just a big wasp. It's a big wasp. It's a big wasp. <laughs> it's a big wasp. Like, I am Harmon. Yes, I am human. So I'm like, see, man. Uh, he's going to go over to a Toot. Right. Might I ask a favour? Yes. <laughs> Lovely. Um. I, I, I'm worried I may have forgotten how to fight. Um, would you be open to uh, over this next week uh, training? A tutorial? Ah! Would you like to engage in the tutorial? I would like to engage in the tutorial. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> One word. No, 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 no. <laughs> Four, <force. laughs> I would like to engage in it outside. Oh, understood. We will. We will take it outside. <laughs> yes. yes. <clears throat> good. 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 Ah, good. We will. We will take it outside. Just the floor's hosted. <laughs> oh, <there's a> spell. <laughs> so do you need to d dust off your hands every time you cast a spell? Yes, yes, I do. Huh. <laughs> they get good. Interesting. Like, like they, they flick their hands. You see, like this sort of like blue particulate sort of like floats off. Oh, can pink. I? That's interesting. Wait, is that right, Lynthium? When you cast, <laughs> what, when you cast a spell, do you have blue dust on your hands, or does it appear afterwards? Uh, usually, when it finishes, when you finish concentrating, or just a sort of like last vapors. It's usually more with stronger, more powerful. Enchantments. Okay, because that's weird. Does that happen for everyone who casts spells? Anyone who practices regular arcana? Yes. Okay. Um, Myla's gonna cast. I don't know what fuck she's got. That's a small cantrip. That's just very basic. What What do we got I in cast here? Cast mage hand. Yeah. <laughs> well, it'll probably happen for you as well. Yeah. I'll just. But it won't for her. Yeah. <laughs> spectral hand sort of floats up and. Yep. High fives you. Cool. Yep. Cool. Uncast. Finish casting. Uncast it. You di you dissipate and just the tiniest like. Like like, is like a it stick of right, Lynthium? And um, Milo's Milo's just gonna. You can't. Um, <laughs> Milo's just gonna <laughs> cast um, 
Uh, uh, go outside and thorn with Patrick. Yes, yeah. that's what she, she's just gonna like pop, like pop outside. She was like, I, all of my things should, are damaging. You should thorn, thorn whip the salt from the other side yes, of the table. I do that. She oh thorn, thorn God. whips the salt from the other side of the table. <laughs> Great, you, you, yeah. I'm not gonna make you roll for that. You grab it, you pull it straight to your hands, catches you, dissipate, and then just like this fine like line of like blue purple powder sort of just sits. Snort it, and it. And it just begins Sorry. to vanish and evaporate. <laughs> can I like, catch it? Like, like vapor, like like if you breathe on a window, it just sort of like can I catch it? dissipates. You can try, definitely. Yes, catch uh, it. Sure, make a dexterity check to try and grab vapor. I'm like, you know, I'm like a cat with a, ma- with a, like a spider. <laughs> sure, just sure, like, sure. Catch it. <laughs> so you put your hand up and immediately it sort of just starts to, to vanish away. If you roll a natural 20, I'll let you get something. Now listen, I believe guys. in you. <laughs> I'm not looking. I'm not even looking at you. I'd like you to know that dice. before this, uh, mm. Reese tried all of his dice and rolled a five on every single one. Every like one of them was a fifteen, then another one hit it and turned it to a five. It's not a twenty. It's not a twenty. No. What is oh, it? That's Sorry. bullshit. I know. Was I rolling dex? It sucks. It's a nine. Oh. Can I lick it? Lick it. <laughs> you <laughs> lick the table. It just tastes like, well, like oh, whatever is there is, is gone. Oh, um, oh. And fairy sort of knows it, it. It tends to be a lot more, and it tends to take along with more powerful spells. Do you have something a little bit bigger we could do outside? I have. Yeah. What would you like? What's the biggest you can do? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> Lila's gonna walk outside. You. Yep. And summon a dragon. <laughs> you fucking what? Draconic summoning, I didn't ah! take it. <laughs> the power, you should not have given me this. <laughs> I love this. This makes me so happy. Some very scared sheep run away. Uh, what kind of dragon would you like to summon, Oh, Sasha? what a, what an exception, what a quest, <laughs> what a question. Um, I would like, Fuck please, me. a... Um, Don't give your players level 19. This ooh, never goes well do we want, What do we reckon, a gem, chromatic, gem, or metallic? What uh, do we, Sorry, Matt, what level? Gem, <laughs> gem, 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 yeah. gem, um, I would like some sort of sapphire dragon. Yes, yes, extremely yes. good. Yes, I will take aqua, aquamarine if sapphire is a little much. I have a red and a green. How about, how about that? Just, just the, just green the could, green, green could be work. aquamarine. We'll color correct it I'll in post, it'll be fine. Yeah, I've got yeah. a black one, but that's not quite. Uh, nice. Green, green, uh, green will be fine. Hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> is this a friendly dragon? Yes. G- good. Oh. <laughs> I'll pause. Wait, hang on. I should read. I should read, that. I should read the text of the spell. <laughs> because no, it this, is. You're this fine. Could take a, this could take a turn. It could. It's fine. Have you broken your dragon? No, it's just never quite. Never uh, quite right. You you walk you walk outside and I'm just gonna say without much warning. <laughs> oh yeah, she's not. She's just like, hey, it turns out I can do this now. Um, and it's going to be oh, yeah. just, just chuck, yeah, chuck in there, yeah. Fine. And also, she's going to be really nonchalant about it. Like, she's just... Because the way Myla does things is things pop into her head and she does it. So she's just kind of going to be like, uh, so biggest thing I can do, right? Uh, yes, yes, if you, if you don't if you don't mind. Uh, sure. And then suddenly... And she's literally going to go... <laughs> 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 um, uh, so yeah, this we'll is... Um, Who's a good dragon? Who's a good dragon? Who's a good dragon? It rolls dragon, over yeah. and it's back and it's like, ah. and, <laughs> yeah. And, and, and Fairy walks up next to you and like just to check it's not an illusion and also just scratches under and this. <laughs> oh, Bites his incredible. fucking hand where, where, did, where did you study? I didn't. You are, no. <laughs> are you one of those sorcerers? Nope. Why would that be a bad thing? It's not a bad thing at all. It's just okay, uh, cool. <laughs> but I'm not one of those either. Where do you, where do you draw your ability then? It's uh, I do not know. It's sort the, of. Uh, this horse just run the fuck away as the square. Uh, don't worry, he's very friendly. Quick. Gone. Uh, um, and you're a good boy. Um, <laughs> um, and um, I would like to use my fifth level spell to create to create uh, a big a big ball. A big fucking like, <laughs> like ball with a bell inside. Yes. Okay. And then yes. I would like to hiff it. Yes. <laughs> at, at what? No, for the dragon to play with. <laughs> for the dragon to chase. This is this is the Can best. I get massive d twenty, please. The <laughs> best yeah, yeah, day yeah. of our lives. Over the, over the shoulder, this giant ball flies, and like like a like a puppy. Doof, doof, crashing through, knocking over trees. Oh, be be very careful. Do not knock over people's things. Make, make an animal handling check, please. Oh, okay, can I help by casting <laughs> Fabricate? Yes! 
I would like to cast Fabricate. It please. obeys your verbal commands. <laughs> <laughs> Good shit. <laughs> what do you want I, to fabricate? I will go to one of the trees. Go, okay, you go to the one that it knocked over. <laughs> that that it's knocked that. over. And we'll touch it. I, I'll take out the, the kind of the brick dust <laughs> stu- swirling sphere, smash it onto it. And the tree springs up kind of like first one large branch with a like a sudden like are you making a cat tree (laughs) 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 fucking call you (laughs) saw you fucking had you immediately (laughs) i create a cat tree for (laughs) the dragon (laughs) don't have the flat surface but i think that's okay yes Yes, it's and around around the the trunk is very clearly like Scratching material. Scratching material. Oh. With, with, with in its rope. mouth, it yeah. comes back and it jumps yeah. up on top and happily just nests in the tree. Stay, please. <laughs> please, please. Yeah, good. Oh. This is Darry. Hello, Darry. Darry. <laughs> Sorry, is that Dragon's name? Yes. Darry. Fairy, is Gary, Dragon and Darry. Dar- Darry. Very good. Very good. Short for Darius. <laughs> Darius, yeah. Sorry, Good. we. This is, that... I'm, I'm kind of shitting myself right now. I'm not going to lie. Oh, he's not going to do anything to you. He's, he's very fine. happy up there. Okay, uh, blue dust. That's what we we're doing. <laughs> you stay, and I get rid of my giant ball. With it's the still thing. holding it in the mouth. It just drops it, and then just this, sh- like like sand, really fine grain. <laughs> <laughs> and you do you catch it, and it has that same shimmer, that same quality as as Rylinthium. Um, but similar again. Like there's a lot more of it this time. Oh, the, the do I snort spell. it? It's yes. starting. Yeah, to... eat it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you you snort it. I lick it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay. Um. Is this session going? How you thought it would go, GM? What do you think? Shopping Let episode. <laughs> Shopping episode. We're dragons. We got a dog now. <laughs> Make. Oh fuck! Make a Constitution saving throw, please. Make make a lick it roll. Um. Both of you. <coughs> Can I be in the background, face palming? Absolutely, Thanks. please. Ah, uh, uh, please, Charles. Thank you. Uh, and I'll be sneaking up behind you with. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Well, your your lights have gone off. My lights have your gone, babe. LEDs. Oh. Oh yeah, I see what's happened. Thank you. Um, con save was that? Con save, please, lads and ladies. I don't know if I want them to fail this. Okay, well I've got good news. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I rolled a thirteen. Okay. I rolled a three. Oh god. Okay. So uh, plus seven this. is a ten. So we yeah, get one of I'm each. Down. I love this so much. <laughs> you sneeze once. You sneeze. Four times. I need you to roll a D100 once. I need you to roll a D100 four times. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, good. God. I love a wild magic table. Yeah. And I'm using an expanded one for shenanigan reasons. Let's see what happens. Hell yeah! Oh, that one's messed up. Oh, I know. I Googled it. That's what came up. Yeah. Let's, Can let's you find write out. These down 36! No, I can't. I can't write them down. That's weird. Uh, I'm, okay. I'm writing, tell me. Roll a D- 13, 23. Okay, hang on, hang on. Yeah, uh, no, so we're playing the Dancy, yeah. Sorry, sorry, 36 for 36. Sasha. Yep. 13, 23. 36 as well. 36 as well. <laughs> and the fourth one? 66. Okay. 13, 23, 36, 66. <clears throat> Thank you. Both Thank of you, you need to roll a D10. This is with the 36 roll. Let's roll a different D10. Seven. Seven. Four. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Seven? Yeah. Uh, you get seven years younger as you feel yourself just... <laughs> Hell yeah! Mad and just a little... Three months old? <laughs> I'm not eight years old. How old are you? You're like three months old. Oh, I mean, I don't now. look... Remember, <laughs> you, I've been around for hundreds and billions of years. You, you look... You but look yeah, physically, physically, I'm like... Maybe like uh, What did you roll, Sasha? Four. You get four years older. Huh. I'm a teenager! <laughs> You're an elf. Your appearance does not change. Woo. You sneeze and there's like pff, this blue dust and it evaporates and dissipates out of you. Cool. Uh, right, the rest of yours then. Cool. Um, 
<laughs> cool. Ill Omen falls upon you uh, when you make an ability check, attack roll, saving throw. The DM may force you to roll with disadvantage once. So I get to give nice. you disadvantage at any point I want. Thank you. Uh, 23. You infuse creatures with magic. Creatures of your choice within 30 feet of your head advantage against the next, next effect that involves a saving throw. So I'll just say you all get advantage yeah. on your next saving throw. <laughs> Some bullshit. Uh, in 66, that's on page two. <laughs> oh, so half, far, it's a net gain, lads. Half that space dust. Good thing. <laughs> Up to three Thank creatures you. of your choice within 30 feet of you take 4d10 lightning damage. <laughs> sure. You well, had to it. say it. it you had to say it. 4d10, <laughs> you said. 4d10. Hit the dragon. Well, the good news is, I'm not hitting the dragon. <laughs> Hit the dragon. No. I mean, it, you, otherwise, One. you're going oh, to kill Alexi. Oh shit, yeah. So um, hit the dragon. Like, I mean, you, go what? for me. 10. Yeah, go for two, me and the dragon. 11. How many hit points do you have? Eight? What? It's a it's a new rest. Oh, don't, don't. I'll, I'll tell you how many hit points I have when you roll damage. I've got 11. 11 total. points of damage? Yeah. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Oh, I mean, it no, sucks for him, but it's not the worst you, thing. You rolled roll. 11 damage on 4d10. Yeah. <laughs> what? I rolled twos and ones. Yeah. Seriously, hit the dragon. Or, or me, like yeah, or I, me. I no, hit, wait, I've, like, got, I've got to hit three so, people. So, but so, so two me dragon. How many hit points do you have? Twenty-seven. Yeah, fuck yeah, one of you each. <laughs> it's the a dragon's lot. got fifty. No, it's funnier if I if I hit if I snort some things <laughs> and I kill. Who would hurt a pet? You know, yeah, really right. Even point. by accident. What kind of monster would do that? You make an excellent excellent. Barry point. stands back as his violence knees. <laughs> <laughs> and each time, like you feel a bit stronger, and a little bit younger, and you'll feel a bit stronger, and then you think you're done for a moment, and there's a there's a point. Uh, a point uh, yeah. So I think that went pretty well. <laughs> and then <laughs> and you each take eleven points of lightning uh, damage. I take six. And I just spat all over my laptop. Great. Um, uh, uh, yeah, just for effect. I, I, I the sheep was I'm only you're, taking you're, six of the this. sheep. Have you all seen like what was it Shrek the sheep that escaped and looked like massive? All the yes, sheep yes, look yes, like yes. Now, and like, you see all the icon. Static, static up now. There we go. We rub them against each other and they stick. <laughs> <laughs> six, yeah, I take six points of damage because fuck that. <laughs> Oh, you have uh, resistance. Yeah, he also yes. remembered. I only take six. I'm fine. I'm just two. Well, two I'm fine. <sighs> said said Ferry, still smoking from like just just being in proximity. Uh, I think I think we've proven the, the point, Master Alexia. Are you are you what okay? What point have we proven exactly? Well, this is interesting. That uh, there's some connection at least between our two timelines. I have a question. Uh, yes. You make scrolls regularly. Yes. Yes. yes all the time. How? Magically infused ink and runes and scribes transitions. I, I guess there's none of the blue dust involved. Oh, at the end when when we use said spell, yes. Only of course. in the outcome. Only in the outcome. After after the magic is dissipated and finished, is that is what remains. It's like a like the remainders of a component. You know, How sometimes some like Rylanthium. Did it look? Oh, it's absolutely. It's absolutely. Okay, I just wanted to like. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, absolutely. Okay. Cool. I'm just sad that no one thought of huffing Rylanthium when you had it in your pack. Like just we, we had, had one gram, gram of like, like just, we had yeah. kilograms. I think Rose <laughs> joked about snorting it once, <laughs> <laughs> and it was it was never in powder form, so we never oh. got to that point. But yeah, I think I think yeah. But now, shout out Rose. But now, <laughs> you called it. But now, you called it. Well, um, before anyone else gets hurt, I think shall we refrain? If that's okay. Please. Shopping. There was a magic <clears throat> store. Um. Yes, Lionel's. Uh. Yes, just down the way. Right, uh, I know where I'm going first. Anyone coming with? Yeah. Uh, do you need a top up? How oh, are you feeling? I I feel like I've just been hit by lightning, but I can also <laughs> somewhat stop it. So ah, it you'll be as... okay. That was uh, <laughs> healing work. <Yeah. laughs> How much is the healing work? I think it's a D4 Four. or something right. I like think, that. I think the sheep sound effects have definitely had their... <laughs> had their I've, I've, had, I've had the mileage now. Had it's, it's fine. I loved it. Hard to disagree. Um... <laughs> You dust yourselves off and begin to, to wander into into town. I love this dragon. <laughs> Is it the dragon's following behind us like a puppy? Yeah. <laughs> Mila's gonna ride it's it. It's still there. Yeah. I was, I'm just checking how long it stays up for, um, and I've got great news. It's there for an hour. Um, I do. Oh, I should roll concentration on it because I did just get hit by lightning. You do. Not you, because you've been kind of rolling. It's, it's, like it's, it's damage halved, isn't it? So yeah, you need to roll like a six. 
It's a 14, yeah, my yeah, grand. Fine, and that's not even including the, like, fine, the, you, yeah, you yeah. roll, you roll, Gary. <laughs> and there's Pan. Like, it's a fucking dragon walking through town. That is so cute. <clears throat> We're creating a paradox. How much do I get? Uh, oh, I don't just roll oh, your, roll your I thought D4. you were rolling. No, no, no. I was rolling for concentration Wait, of my dragon. It's much better you did that than okay. me. Mine would have been trash. Mine's it's a D4 plus, plus spell casting, so you'll be up to full. Great. Love right. that. Ferry heads back to the observatory to, to begin preparing. The oh, he doesn't come with us? No, no, not the shop. We've got things to take care of. Uh, cool. So, magic shop. Magic, magic shop. shop. Magic shop. <laughs> magic shop. Following uh, Alexi with the hammer drawn. Okay. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Yes. Understood. We were going to train and then <coughs> lightning happened. We'll do it later if that's all right. Myla's gonna, Understood. we're going to get to the shop and Myla's going to. Oh, hang on, I need you to make just a general charisma check first to pull off walking a dragon through town. Like the world's best it girl. <laughs> um, charisma. Yeah. 16. I G G Y R L. She is that girl. Okay, you know what? Fine, fair enough. Pe- people are startled to begin with and then, then realize the dragon sort of like got like a little and then they see the weird blue Dragon woman on top. Off. And like whispers are coming out about like this maybe slightly famous actress <laughs> who got here. And you're like, all right, you know what? They don't freak out as much, amazingly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, Hey boy. Matt, how are you doing? I'm great, this is not. <laughs> Don't plan things, guys. Just don't. Just don't. Just don't. Have have fun. Don't let, give let your, your friends players and level roll dice. five spells. Um Myla's gonna get to the magic shop. Yep. Get off Darry. Stay. And then literally be like, sit. And I want it to <laughs> fully like full sit, like haunches sit, and be like, stay. And the, the tail sort of <laughs> Don't destroy anything. Be careful with the, thank you. Be careful with that tail. Be nice to <laughs> Be nice to anyone who comes past. Let them give you scratches. Alright. Leans down. <laughs> Who's a good dragon? I will be out in not too long. Okay. That doesn't speak. <laughs> it goes, oh, you I mean, betcha. I think it does. <laughs> okay. I think it does speak. It's a I dragon. Think it can. It's also a highly intelligent creature, <laughs> which means it's just pretending to act like a puppy. No. Don't kick shame. Do this not dragon, kick shame dragon. If he wants to do puppy play, okay, that's so okay. Actually, it, oh, it only okay. speaks to Conic. Stream, please. It only speaks, speaks to Conic, but fortunately, so does Myla. So. <laughs> All right, so it sounds like grunts and grouses. She's just having a chat in dragon. <laughs> this ostentatious purple, like mushroom shaped building greets you a little bit. Bright white spots on each side. And you see each one sort of glows a different sort of iridescent color as you walk inside. Um, a slim gentleman, dark skin, nice black beard, thick, heavy set eyebrows, and a Equally ostentatious, bright orange robe sits there, rolls up, rolls up his sleeves. Good morning! Welcome to Lionel's! Hello, Lionel's. Hello. I'd like to see your bestest magic items, please. The bestest magic items. Very good, very good. And I, I just, I just like uh, clear a little hole in the in the window, like just clean it off so he can see the dragon outside. <laughs> it's just there, like with the tongue against the window, like. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to be smarter. Very good. Very good. <laughs> he's like, he's like, you want to talk about it? <laughs> have you, have, have you, you con- considered schooling? <laughs> so through magical means, I, I assume, or yes, through or reading or study, we have a would... fine library. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm profusely well read. Um, any sort of magical items that will enhance natural intelligence? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, uh, I think the well-known headband of intellect. Um, very, that, very rare. Very, very difficult to get at short notice. How much do you want? Uh, 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 how much have you got? A lot. How much is a lot? 300 gold. I can't negotiate for shit. Would you mind? Yeah, I've noticed. Thank you. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to increase your charm, charisma first? Um, Something's a sunk cost fallacy. <laughs> <laughs> Be nice, please, to him. <laughs> no, Milo was being like, virginly like, oh, you can't negotiate. Well, why not increase this instead of your intelligence? This just makes sense to me. You just outsource it. Yeah, that's fair. Though. That's the yeah, rich that people way. Loss. I could, if I could interrupt, I could make a call and get something shipped in. Uh, how soon would you need it? Uh, you? Before the end of the week. That. Right. Excellent. How far away is it? I, I would need to find out. Uh, potentially a 
a week would be pushing it. I, I could do it in an Okay, is that place. a week by by like horse? Oh, a week by teleportation. I can have someone make something up and send it to me. But the uh, ultimate price would obviously cost I see, a bit extra. I see. Otherwise, uh, I was just going to offer to have my dragon just fly and pick it up. Well, listen, let's let's start it's a with name dropper. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start DHL. with a uh, <laughs> 50 more minutes of this. <laughs> Write down what you think is a fair price on a piece of paper. Sure. And then we're going to look at some other items and then we'll come together. It, may, it might be a bulk deal situation. Very good. Because uh, we are a little uh, strapped on items at this time, uh, but we have some opportunities. To cheese the magical hammer yeah. <laughs> behind the plus two plate. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And is a clearly a mechanical man. <laughs> so. At that point, my uh, voice breaks, <laughs> as I'm now a 17 year old child. <laughs> <laughs> I... is there anything else in particular? I have a couple of things I can also recommend. But I'd like to see your most impressive item. Most most impressive. Well, let me let me tell you. I pull up a chair so we can sit down and, and have things shown to us. And then he, he turns like a personal shopper. Myla cast Goldberry, but in like a popcorn bucket. <laughs> Mm-hmm, yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yum, yum. Rather I'm, loving, I'm loving. I'm loving every part of this. Turns around and sort of sits down. This this fine little like looks like 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 a chiselled out statue. Now this it's a portable guard. It's a stone soldier. One of my uh, own design. Uh, made made some friends with some Griffin friends. Uh, who, who we've already got one. Next. <laughs> I told him we've already got one. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we already have a mechanical wait, little wait, guy. Wait for fighting? Uh, we, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, fine, well, fine. Uh, sort of digs around and like you hear drawers and things moving and pulls out like this. This seemingly like normal looking crossbow. Now this this is a, a rope caster. Uh, you put any rudimentary rope into this. Um, does it? And then you shoot and shoot it at Toot. And Toot, you're immediately tied up. Oh my. <laughs> No, no, you're just okay. Fine. Throws it, throws it over over the shoulder. I um, can just. Am I still that. tied up? <laughs> just, you can huh. <laughs> just on the floor, like. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> um, Myla will just sort of mm. throw good berries into your mouth. <laughs> yum yum. yum. <laughs> um, fine, fine. All right, fine, fine, fine. Something a little bit more. It, it looks a little bit rattled. Um. One, one moment, and then sort of comes down with like this this nice sort of like leather armor, and as he sort of moves and swishes, it seems like a little echo that seems to sort of follow behind uh. it. Um, now this is a displacement leather, um, quite quite rare. It's sort of a it's sort of like a twin time sort of thing. Um, essentially, it creates an afterimage of its wearer, um, and if someone tries to strike you, uh, good. You uh, put a number on the paper. Uh, good. Yes. Um, good. Uh, and anything else in particular? I feel like I feel like maybe your clientele is a bit too. Hi, Listen, oh, I understand. Uh, yeah, no, you've done very well. <laughs> I'm, I'm, no. quite, I'm quite well. I'm quite well. I understand. Sorry, this is a smaller area than we're used to being in, and um, uh, we don't want you to feel inadequate. Have you met or... my dragon? <laughs> <laughs> no. Underskilled. Um, we've had a very interesting month, so everyone's gone a bit insane. Right. I apologize. Right. Well, insane is the best kind of fun. What's your Woo-hoo. potion stock like? Uh, it's it's okay. I have one more other little physical. Oh item, yes, so please, please. So, um, <laughs> go on, go on. Pulls out the small black, well, like how you all leaned into that, <laughs> um, and opens it. And inside are two brass rings, like very plain. Um, now these are rings of true companions. Um, they... Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, At least let up. the man finish. <laughs> if. These are paired. If one person falls and the other is wearing it, and you can see they can prevent that person from falling immediately, and they can also heal each other psychically by sharing their health, their constitution uh, between each other. Do you have to be in love with the person to wear it? No, no, no. These can okay, be good. Uh, Alexi, do you want me to wear it or Toot to wear it? Hello. Um, well, which of you can, you can take... also heal psychically as well, but if you're not in interested, nice... I can... We're, no, we're, we're debating. Okay. Hold on. Let's not, you know. Uh, well, which one of you can, <coughs> forgive me for being crass, take more of a beating? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, th- I rather think so. And if you're going to be concentrating on a lot of magic, then it's probably not the most tactically advantageous choice. Yeah, that's fair. Try and get out of the ropes. Is sure. that <laughs> just, just make make a straight try, check. Trying to, while, while trying to wave. I think I think we're all sitting there with our popcorn <laughs> and we're just seeing a rolling. A rolling too, yeah. In the <laughs> background. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 14. Did you know? <laughs> 
Hello. Oh, I like that. Just in the forehead. <laughs> Myla's going to get her sickle out, and as as Toot rolls past at some point, just sort of ching, like off a little bit of. Toot carries on rolling around. So Alexi's been given this number. It's quite all right. That, well, that's that's the. Uh, what that's is the, the number? For the, the number is twelve thousand. That's that's to expedite the creation of a headband of intellect at this short notice. And have one sent here, yes. Uh, normal price would be about 9,000. We have some items that I think you would be of use. Perhaps a trade to offset some of the cost. Oh, very good. Oh, you but 12,000 seems for, quite reasonable for to me. Oh, so I, I can write these numbers down or I can just yes, say... Yes, please. Here, um, so the, uh, it's not that it's not reasonable. It's oh. just... We're, you hate spending money. Um, no, I'd say we have a lot of things that have been cluttering up the bag that uh, we've had since we killed Clubgut. Is um, 12,000... Too little or too much? It's 12,000 what? Um, gold <laughs> pieces. <laughs> gold pieces? Yes. Oh. What is a platinum worth? Uh, Ten gold. Ten. Okay. Oh, uh, and the crossbow, if you're interested, is 250 gold. It's a cheaper item. Um, the armor is 1,800 and the rings are 4,000. For the pair, not each. For the pair. Yeah. Okay. I so. mean, I think we can afford all of that, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, just. <laughs> To uh, save and time, I'll get, basically, up, I'll get up the potions now. Alexi is uh, because you're not asked about the Sentinel Shield, and I can't use it anymore. Yeah. No. Um, so Sentinel Shield, the Dimensional Dagger, the Bloodthirsty Dagger, the Cobalt Dagger, and the Hook Dagger are all up for grabs. What's the Dimensional Dagger? I don't know anymore. It's been in there for so you long. You throw it and it comes back to you, right? No, so like a no. Blink dagger? You can it lets you sort of pop through. Yeah, if you've got the notes there, basically you can use it and jump to the other side of the enemy. Um, it's, it's a good rogue weapon. Um, but we anyone really need remember that? what episode it was we got that dagger? By four, the way, I took Warcaster to decrease the concentration check problems. So. Great choice as feet. Yeah, so... Um, <laughs> it's instead of... Um, oh, yes. Stats. Well, the Bloodthirsty Dagger, you need to be evil aligned to use it, which is why Alexi's not able to use it anymore. Um, Aw, oh, babe. Yeah, I know, right? Sucks. So that one's definitely on the sell yeah, list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but I'm evil. <laughs> you know what? You're very <laughs> shit at it. <laughs> Mine is evil fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if- <laughs> this party's always been an evil party, I think. <laughs> it's all good. Um, so as, as you're sort of discussing and arguing, more potions have been put on there. So basic potions of healing, a couple of supremes, a couple of graters that come through. Um, and then some more interesting things come through. Um, there's this one that sort of looks like... Uh, what's what's the armor? Oh, also, oh. I'd like the armor, if that's cool. Oh, yeah, that's absolutely... I've got nice. the leather on. Cool. Uh, so it's a terrarium, but it looks like it's been fully encased in growth. Um, this is uh, known as a potion of nature's growth, and it allows your skin to become hard and rough and tough. Like, give you a bit of a natural boost. Spark skin? On, on the back of that. Um, yeah, some- spark skin. It's a good name for... I, oh, I like that. I, um, I, that's mine. Um, <laughs> TM, TM, TM. TM, yep, TM, 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 TM. Uh, And this one, and he pulls out what looks like quite a familiar uh, looking potion to you, Toot. Um, this is a potion of puddle scrying. Uh, you can find any body, body of water and immediately spy or scry on. <laughs> you can scry anything. on and any ducks you wish. <laughs> I um, wish to see the underside of some duck. It, <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, oh no, you really don't. <laughs> um, but as he calls it, you realise you've already got a bottle of this. You, pick, you picked this up in, in Alexi's... Um, yeah, yeah. The, in the cast yeah. off tower. Yeah. So, oh, what did you get that? It is from a tower I set on fire. <laughs> Recently? No, no. <laughs> Funnily enough, no. <laughs> Funnily enough, no. You that are is many... a complicated question. <laughs> Burned down my home. One of his homes. I'm so sorry. Oh, two oh. of his homes. <laughs> it's a very co- okay. You know, I'm going to stop asking questions. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Early. It's not going to happen for five thousand years. <laughs> so we have some time. Okay. Good. Good. Um, do you want a second one of those, or are you quite happy with the first? Be Would a... you like this? Uh, sure. How much? I'd like the other one. Oh, well, would you like this one? Well, yes, thank you. There we go. He's like, ha, ha. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you now need one? D- oh, no, I am fine. Oh. I have no need to scry on ducks. I don't think I do. I just like the idea of, of puddles. They are fun. Yeah. They're fun to splash in. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we, we, it's, a, it's a cut. And it's just uh, Myla the dragon. <laughs> just, uh, splashing in puddles for the next hour until the dragon's like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick in the rain. So, um, no, there is no need for any extras for me. Oh, um, okay. 
I mean, the headband of intelligence, this is just David saying this, I, it is a lot, but it will literally make everything I do better. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, we, listen, we, we we have money. It's the past. Who gives a shit? Who should who should have the... So then there's the armor and then the ring. So you two armor. you two are going to have the rings. rings. Yeah. One last armor, yeah. potion here and pulls up like this heavy looking like bucket thing. Dunk. Um, this is a, a, b- a, b- a bucket? <laughs> a b- a b- I mean, you can keep the bucket when you're done. Um, This is a... I'd say a potion. It's more a gallon of... Recovery. This is infused with uh, moon dust, which we've managed to process. Uh, it allows you to recover magical energy. Um, it's a potion of, of, of spell recovery. Moon, yeah. Moon um, dust? Is that what happens when you cast a spell? Oh, we, well, oui, yes, yes. Uh, Where do you get a, the moon dust? After you cast a spell, it dissipates and it keeps. And if you manage to capture it and keep it and seal it up um, in great quantities, you can distill it into something like this. Oh, it's very, very difficult to process. We were supposed then. to put it in a jar. We ate it. <laughs> don't, 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 don't do that. I the still, raw magical energy. I still have a banging headache from oh, it. Oh, I was seven years older. I used to be four years younger. What Hello, about you? I'm tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to be human. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be a duck. <laughs> Quack. <laughs> Quack. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, this will... Um... Knock, knock. <laughs> so when you drink this particular potion, you recover expended spell slots of combined levels equal to or less than 1d3 plus 3. Nice. Um, That's level. pretty good. Uh, so this well, will go lads. for about 3,500, I'm afraid. It's I, should we, I think we should take the lot. Take the lot. Uh, but I think we should get a bulk deal. So, um, and do you want I, any you of the um, potions of healing David. as well? Okay, mm-hmm. so 12,000 plus 18,000 for 1800 for the armor mm-hmm. and 4,000 the ring, 16, <laughs> 17, 8. Okay, 17,800. Minus um, 10. Minus 10,000. Minus a place to make it platinum. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, so. Sorry, what's platinum? You will find out. We're not uh, going to crash an economy. <laughs> um, we are um, absolutely going to I'm working crash magical artifacts, it's fine. I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> in terms of stuff that we're going to hand over. Okay, we've got Dimensional Dagger, Blood Thirsty Dagger, Cold Vault Dagger, Hooked Dagger, Sentinel Shield. Does anyone have any strong feelings about keeping any of those? No. No. Nope. I have no strong feelings. Oh, babe, you do. Um, <laughs> Stop it I have there. no feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I've never Actually, felt Actually, I might keep the Dimensional anything. Dagger since Matt said it's good for rogues. Cool, yeah. Um, with the exception of the Dimensional Dagger, all of that is uh, on the table as sort of to take okay. down the value. Great. And what, what was what was the total value? Um, that was, I just said it, 17,800 gold pieces. So that's just with the three? And do, did yep. any of the potions? And oh, potions? yes. Yeah, oh, no, the, I'm good. The recovery. The spell recovery for three and a half thousand. Okay. I think spell recovery. Math. Takes us up to, that would be 21. And there was also, the, there was also the Bark Skin potion as well. I don't think we need the no, Bark Skin. I think we want it. 21, I'm already with 21,300. Yeah. Pretty I good. can just cast that shit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, tell you what, we'll call it an even... If I keep all of this, we'll call it an even 14 and I'll throw in some healing potions as well. Yeah. Done. Done? Wait. 12. Make a charisma check. <laughs> I believe in you. Oh. With disadvantage. With disadvantage. <laughs> hey! There it is. There as you, it you is. go to speak a little bit of... <coughs> Dust comes out. <laughs> it's almost a great pitch. Okay. <laughs> it was strong. Ooh. And what? And guidance. Guidance. You're gonna. You're gonna be so sad, bitch. So that is. Um. It's persuasion. Yeah. It's charisma. charisma. It's persuasion. No persuasion's no. fine. Yeah. You make an offer. Make your case to me. Everyone. Twenty-four. Make your case. <laughs> Twenty-four. Make your case. <laughs> so. Um. I uh, I look at this man and I say I basically um, agree to suggest that we should get a lower price because we're going to be repeat customers and it's definitely worth his time to get on our good side because clearly we're moneyed and we love magical items we have a dragon <laughs> <laughs> and, um, going, <laughs> and I the dumbest dragon in the world <laughs> and He's I having the best day offer him when we come back from our little jaunt that we will have more magical items to give him so consider this a down payment of goodwill for me to come back and give him more magical items to sell yeah 
And then I go, <laughs> oh, honey, no. <laughs> Is every man in the city a gay man? For the sake of saving money, yeah. <laughs> what a I vibe. Wink. <laughs> Making charisma. Yeah. No! No, I got a 24, you bastard! <laughs> It just turns out Eight. it's gay pride here at the moment, and like everyone's just <laughs> okay. Thirteen, but a two thousand gold discount for our next transaction, assuming it is of a similar size. Next time, if you are true to your order and intend to come back, happy. We can be repeat customers for five thousand years. Yeah. <laughs> Do, what does he say when we're like we'll be repeat customers for five thousand years? Probably thinks we're insane and leaves it for that. You're insane, but your money's good. Isn't Except it one just? of the platinum. <laughs> yeah. Um, cool. Great. So that's uh, thirteen thousand. You said thirteen all in. Thirteen all in. Mm -hmm. um, and if anything in the intellect department uh, can come in before the end of the week, please let us know. We're staying. I will, I will send a message. Immediately. We're staying with yes, Harry. Yes, so just uh, hang on, just one sec. Incredibly rude. Cool. Done. No. Uh, five days. Good. Assuming you no assuming no complications. You yes. weren't actually talking to anyone, were you? It was all a ruse. Inside check. <laughs> <laughs> Good can, shit. Can you remember? Um, He's like, I'm a businessman. <laughs> Fuck, I gotta find a headband of intelligence. Fifteen? <laughs> You don't know. <laughs> Great. Uh, I s we give him 10,000 now. Okay. And we hold on to the extra 3,000 until the headband of intellect comes in. Fair enough. Yeah. Which means I'll keep these until then as well. It's fine. <laughs> um, it's not what's part of the deal. That's fair. He's keeping the headband of in intellect until we give him the 3,000. Well, he doesn't have it. He doesn't have it yet. He's going to make it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. He's yeah. Not, it's right. not like it's we like, have it. Yeah. Cool. Um, uh, what is your general gold balance at this point? Don't need to know right now. If you're uh, just let me know. Are we talking. Party fund or grand larceny fund because they're two very different things, and yeah. I don't have grand larceny fund. You have the party. grand larceny I have fund. Some, how much? How I've much? Got, you, how much? We because I got three hundred platinum from the desk, mm -hmm. and then nicked a whole load of other ones that I forgot to write down. Yeah, um, <laughs> because it means nothing. <clears throat> no. um, I also left some in the field, so <laughs> <laughs> let's say. Did you tip the sheep? Uh, no, it's I just left some in the field. <laughs> it's going to be like the Sutton Who, yeah. Yeah. like digging yeah. it up yeah. in a couple of years. It's going to be great. All right, you get your things. Um, you all, you all. Leave. So, Sorry, yeah, you're going to say got, something I've else. I've got about. I I I wrote down three hundred platinum. So let's say, sure, however much that is. So as, as three thousand gold, <laughs> rock and roll. As you're all leaving and you're coming out, um, to you sort of turn to look back and then someone else walks past you in this sort of like ostentatious red sort of cloak coming past. Lord Harmond. Here to see Lionel, and the door closes and he walks on. Oh, that was Harmond. And I'm going to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> we have ruined this town. Yes, yeah. Good. <laughs> we'll be right back uh, after these short messages about how to spend money irresponsibly. I <laughs> <Patreon. laughs> hey. No, thank you very much. We love our patrons very much. Uh, that's a joke. Cool. Um, right. Go to be extra money. Oh God. Hello, it's us again, Sasha and David. Wrong way. <laughs> ah, hello. <laughs> You're here. Ah, I was not expecting this, even You're though here. I was counted down. We're here. <laughs> and we're here to talk about Patreon. We have one. It's amazing. Yes. You know what we also have that's amazing? There's a Discord channel. There There's is a, a Discord, Discord channel. channel. Server. There's a whole Discord. That, that's One it. whole Discord. There's a channel. I like how, uh, you know, like when we play, I'm order and you're chaos. But whenever we do this, you're order and I'm chaos. It's lovely. Yeah, that's because I am a businesswoman. Yes, David. and I'm insane. Yeah. There's also going to be bonus content. There's going to be content that you couldn't get access to at the same time before, but now you can. Ooh. That made sense. How many takes? Has it been? <laughs> and yeah, there's just gonna be loads of extra bits and pieces, some behind the scenes stuff. Um, anything that we do will probably pop up on there first. So yeah, go check it out. Sash, what else do we have to see? Matt, stop laughing. <laughs> so if you're looking forward to just finding out a bit more about what we're doing behind the scenes, helping us keep Matt stocked with hats, keep the padlocks on his cage. He needs so many hats. Oh, so many hats. But yeah, come check it out. We'll see you there. Oh, Bye. and thank you so much for all your love and support. <laughs> I'm saying it before Matt yells at me again. 
really clinched it there, buddy. Really clinched it. Right. Bye, kids. <laughs> So, we're back in the town. You've got the rest of the day and the rest of the week to get provision, supplies, meet people, plan things. What happens next? I mean, mine's very simple. Um, at one point during the day, Alexi would like to engage in the tutorial. And at one point during the evening, Alexi will, in his standard cheapish Alexi manner, ask Milo if she would like to revive Science Club. Uh, was Science Club ever dead? We haven't done it in weeks. Does that mean it's dead? No, no, no just merely fallen out of practice. You use strange words. Yes. <laughs> He's like, that's my whole thing. <laughs> this is me, Myla. <laughs> feel like I've been on brand the entire time. <laughs> it's like you don't even know me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's which. Which would you like to uh, uh, tutorial chronological or? order? He will. He will have <clears throat> spoken to tutorial first. Matt. Fine. Um, I'm having a slight problem in that uh, since I've lost all my uh, inherent abilities, my body isn't responding as it hmm. should, and I don't want to uh, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> have that be problematic in combat? Um, would you care to spar? Certainly. Would you like to engage in the tutorial? <laughs> Draw the rapier. <laughs> yes. Very well. How are you feeling? Apprehensive. On one! <laughs> <laughs> are you discovering hair where there was no hair before? <laughs> Who programmed these things? <laughs> I are believe there's okay? a misconstruing of, of my origin. <laughs> Look, I, I'm enjoying this. Yeah. I'm just going to wait. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. This is great. <laughs> Have you considered thinking of baseball? A, what is baseball? B, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Understood. C, <laughs> is this the tutorial? All right, I'm good. I'm good. I have a joke. <laughs> Thank God. Knock, knock. Its bark is worse than its bite. <laughs> <laughs> Who's there? Who's there? <laughs> so sorry. Oh, my God. No, oh, we were talking about that at the first show. That was... Oh, that was great. I like that. that. Right. Okay. <clears throat> oh, they look so cute in that little cornfield. It's really yeah. good. Yeah, should we be <coughs> fucking up someone's cornfield? Yes. yes. Yeah. Field of oh. wheat. <laughs> Field of wheat. Come on, Theresa May. Run through this tutorial. Okay, so it starts off and it is the, how are you feeling? And as soon as you start, we'll immediately bring the hammer around. Yeah, um, during the answering of how are you feeling, because he's not falling for this shit twice, Alexia's still in full on guard. Good, good. Yeah. Right. Like, I'm glad that you are on guard. Chum, 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 chum. So it is every now and then we'll do swings. It's it's the standard kind of you you're on level two of this tutorial, where where it's all of the moves are quite widely telegraphed. <clears throat> everything, any kind of deflection. Every now and then, if you kind of reach out at some point, tutorial will just kind of like get your knife underneath his armpit and go, oh no, you have got me. <laughs> ah. I'm going to roll uh, <laughs> dexterity at disadvantage to see how stumbly he is and basically learning more or less a new body. Terrible. Uh, seven. So there is a lot of falling. <laughs> um, more like it will try and stabs somewhere and it's just like off by a few inches and a lot of barks of frustration. Why are you angry? Uh, nothing feels natural anymore. There used to be a rather good duelist and... Was that... Are you angry that it came easily to you before and now you have to work harder at it? Uh, no, I'm angry because I worked very hard to get to where I was before and now it's all gone. 
Why did you work hard before? Because I wanted to be a good duelist. Do you still want to be a good duelist? Yes. Why? Swing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it, each time the swing will come around, but it will be quite clearly telegraphed. Sure. And at one point, if there's a, if there is a point where if you stumble enough, there will be a kind of moment of the hammer comes down and stops. And then there'll be a little donk. <laughs> there is probably a donks on the hammer. <laughs> And it's like, you have spent a long time being very, very good. Is this correct? Um, I wouldn't think so, but I've been known to be particularly harsh on myself. Self-hatred can be a terrible crutch. It means that we do not have to try anymore. Because why bother? I don't have an answer to that. It was not a question. I don't have a response. Swipe. <laughs> <laughs> and you both continue back and forth with lessons and you're improving a little bit and mm. then losing it a little bit and it, it doesn't seem to be quite clicking. And though the mm. words sink in and you pour your all, after a couple of hours, it's still not quite getting where you need it to be. You notice though, about halfway through this older looking dwarven fellow had propped himself up on the hedge and just not not given a small wave just sort of watched way to pass the afternoon of watching this strange wooden boy and this skinny black haired lad try and land a couple of blows just watches doesn't doesn't jeer doesn't heckle doesn't cheer just watching on do not watch your feet i didn't realize i was was i you were more <laughs> as soon as, as yeah. soon as you look down, yeah. hammer comes. Uh, deserve that one. Yes, yes. Excellent point. Fair enough. you You worked very hard, and now you are trying very hard to work against something. Listen to what your body is doing. I don't know what it's doing. I feel like we're speaking different languages now. Oh. He switches to Elvish. No, 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 no. <laughs> In Elvish. <laughs> I like serious. I didn't mean you and I, I meant my body and I. Oh, understood. Which sounds weird in Elvish. Um, <laughs> of course. But so switches back to common. It's like, I... Please, and I promise I will not hit you. Please sit down. Is this an elaborate ruse? This is not an elaborate ruse. Wink. <laughs> that was an elaborate ruse. This is not an elaborate ruse. Uh, Please sit. Alexi like moves six feet away <laughs> and sits down. Understood and wise. <laughs> and he will sit and will kind of scoot a little bit closer, but we'll leave the hammer kind of yeah. like... <laughs> Until the hammer goes down, there is absolutely like the rape it just goes <laughs> up a tiny bit. And... Close your eyes and breathe. I promise I will not hit you. Breathe. Are you breathing? Yes. Please continue to breathe. Thank you. If at any point you stop breathing, please alert me. <laughs> Are you breathing? Yes. Please alert emergency services. I am very Hang glad that you are still breathing. Thank you. Ditto for what it's worth. Do you breathe? This is not about me. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> <coughs> Please hold your hands, palms up, on your lap. He does it. <laughs> Thank you. Please be aware of your spine. You're going right. in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> so T takes two, <clears throat> takes him through kind of like almost a guided meditation mm -hmm, mm -hmm, where mm -hmm. it's listen to what's going on around you, feel from the base of your spine this long root extending into the earth and into the sky. Connect and, to your body. Yeah, connect breathing, bringing it back to the breath each time. 
And every time if Alexi starts asking questions, it's like, no, just bring it back to the breath. He asks many questions. Yeah. It's like, so what color is the root that is extended into the earth? Um, a sort of light brown. Lovely. What color is your breath? My, my breath? As it enters your lungs, what color is your breath? Uh, it's white. When it leaves, what color is it? Uh, red. Very good. Is there a particular shape that your breath takes when it is in your lungs? Uh, it's sort of um, a swirl. Um, I don't know quite how to describe it. You do not have to. It is not for me. Picture it. Every time you breathe, picture that shape. Breathe. Please open your eyes. Please stand. Would you like to engage in the tutorial? Yes. Remember the picture of your breath. And any time you feel like you are stumbling, bring it back to the breath. Noted. You wish to stay alive. That is the plan. So, let us begin. <laughs> and carries on again. You carry on for another hour, mm. maybe a little longer. You wrap up, you finish, feeling a little bit stronger, a little more confident, a little bit more of a foundation to work Bruised, for. I'm sure. <laughs> Bruised and battered, but... Centred. <laughs> and maintained and consistent. The dwarven figure never leaves, watching on completely. And as you finish and wrap up and tutorial... Do you stay or do you leave Alexi to sit for a moment? I'll leave Alexi and <clears throat> say, you have done very well. Uh, thank you. Uh, same time tomorrow? If you're not too busy, I don't want to oppose. I am here to help. Take time for you. And be proud. You've worked very hard. And uh, have a drink on me. And we'll take out a platinum. <laughs> we really need to discuss the finer points of economics, but... Oh, understood. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Tutorial wanders off. The figure watches Tutorial and then hops down. Jenna's friend. H Hello. Hello. You fight well. Thank you. I was kidding, mate. That was utter shite. Yes, I'm aware. <laughs> yes. What do you fight for? Like, why? What? I'm curious. Standing in a field with... Well, a mannequin. Why? <laughs> Don't lie. There's a steely glint in his eyes. I can never form words in the way that people can. It always ever comes out how I mean it to. I always end up offending or upsetting someone in the way I say it. Um, and I sometimes just accidentally do it without intending to. Uh, someone who means a lot to me is stranded very far from everything she knows, and I intend to make sure she can return to that. So you fight for her? That is the plan. And what does she fight for? And your friend? And... In truth, I don't know what we all fight for as a collective. Well, if you figured it out, come find me. And he uh, unhooks I... this hilt. Just a hilt from his belt. Tosses it to you. And it's this like ornate rapier hilt. No blade, no insert. Just, just a pommel on a handguard. Come find me. If you figure it out. Find you where? We'll see. Turn to walks away. Cool. Is he a genie? In a bar. <laughs> Gotta rob him the right way. Robbing sword hilts at people is no basis for a system <laughs> of government. <laughs> um, I would say then the only thing you likes will do, he will go back to... Oh God, I've forgotten... Um, I've forgotten their name. Eternal. Very. 
Farry and Gary? Farry. Farry. Yeah, yeah, We'll Farry. go to Farry and... Farry Belly. Ask, um... <laughs> ask Farry if he can help him prepare dinner. Mm -hmm. As he would like to make a dinner for the party. Great. He also points out that he's never cooked a day in his life. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> and he doesn't know what food <laughs> is. Yeah. He's only just learned that salt, you know, fat, acid, heat, grumble. ready to go. <gasps> sure, there's a book on it in this house. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. Bro, there, you know what? There is probably a library on of cooking, cookbooks? which yeah. makes just... every cast staff think that they're great chefs. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. they're not. They're food Actually, no, I like to think, I like, but you are a, like a by the book recipe to like the absolute millimeter. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And He's a baker, not a, not a cook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah great, great analogy. <laughs> and so Ferry quite happily takes takes you under under their wing and goes through. Um, <laughs> their ghost but, moment. <laughs> <laughs> making, a, <laughs> making a loaf. <laughs> but immediately keeps correcting and pushing um, like you're so precise. But let's, let's make a survival check. Let's see how well you really do. Oh, no. Su survival, but use your intelligence modifier, please. Since you're relying on your, your on your cookbook knowledge, yeah, but still, that's not good. Yeah, it's funny that way, though. <laughs> well, that's a natural one. <laughs> Hell yeah! Yeah, yes. cremate that shit. <laughs> Fairy's patience becomes encouragement. Becomes okay. <laughs> <laughs> Even I know that's not right. <clears throat> and after the the second um, nice cut of lamb is burnt and the, the leeks are looking a little bit sad. It's okay. How about how about you get some wine and some beer from the cellar? Um, and I'll, 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 I'll finish this up. And immediately, as you turn, you see them waving their hand as they pass the microscope <laughs> to reverse and bring it back to a, a proper state. Eminently achievable. Like, see, we'll get the alcohol. <laughs> Trips up the stairs, crashes all the way. <laughs> oh, Make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> no! 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 Don't kick a man Blame while he's Sasha. down. Okay, that's fair. Uh, 15. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> you, you almost missed the step. Like, it's a little bit lower. It's not the most even. Yeah. But you're fine. You're fine. Cool. cool. What are the rest of you doing? <clears throat> um, I believe that we are in the bath. Yeah. With the, with the staff. Yeah. Doing, doing... Staff. <laughs> yeah, doing staff. Doing staff. With the staff. Yeah. In, in the, the bath. bath. Yeah. All three of you, or just you two? Just I'm, us two. It's just okay. us two, because like, there's one of those two, yeah. Cool, great. Yeah, so that's what we're doing while they're... Uh, we're just gabbing doing... about yeah. moon shit. Go for it. Pretty Get much. Away. Yeah. Um, And I think, are you in the bath or am I in the bath? I don't mind. We can both be in the bath. Okay, we're both it's in the bath. It just doesn't matter. Um, and so is the staff. Yeah. Obviously. Um, And I think this is kind of a... Oh, excuse me. Uh kind of testing out the staff a little bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I think that uh, we're probably doing some casting okay. and sort of like seeing what we can do with the leftover Rylanthium a little bit, mm -hmm. um, seeing if we can make some more portals, seeing if we can add it to the staff and what difference it makes. Mm -hmm. And I think it's also in the bath. <laughs> so I think it's like it's like bath bomb level blue with the sparkles. I, li I like that. It's like you two at either end opposite in the start. Just, just yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's good. It's good Got like knees up like yeah, in the yeah, middle yeah. and then there's just like, and every now and then be like, try it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Having a great time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Little flashes, little golden light bouncing against against the blue. It yeah. Seems pretty, it, 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 it seems to magnify and amplify your magic a little bit, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything beyond, beyond that at, at this point. Have you tried to cast a spell properly from it yet. Uh, I think I'd probably do that in the bath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What would you like to cast? I would like to cast... You know what? I would like to cast telekinesis and lift the bath. I imagine it's like a clawfoot thing. I can show you the world. Absolutely. I can show you this bath. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Make... Roll, roll a d20 and add your charisma modifier. Okay. And... Okay, 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 okay. Will a 21 do? 21 will do it, absolutely. You boy. You concentrate for a second and you hold it. And the bath vibrates. Jacuzzi. And nice. It, <laughs> and it begins to lift. And it takes a second. Takes yeah, a yeah, yeah. You, you, like, you slop some water around and then you manage to hold it. 
<laughs> I think we're both just giggling ah! in this part. It's, it's, it's like, levitating yee. two, three feet off the ground. It's quite, uh -huh. quite happening. You, you haven't quite got a full handle on it, but, but it seems directly connected to, to the staff. Like a joystick, you almost feel like you could fly it for the limited amount of time. This is the best bath. <laughs> uh, hold on. Can I, for vibe's sake alone, uh, use a dimension door from, I think I've got a, a crown yeah, that allows yeah, yeah, me yeah. to, to make a hole in the wall yeah. and just like fly the bath out? Absolutely. <laughs> I can show you this bath. Great. <laughs> Woo! I think we just do like a little lap and then it's like, oh, I'm running out. No. <laughs> <laughs> sort of skid into the bathroom again. Like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, you do a full lap. You lose most of the water and you get back just in time as it, and it cracks very slightly in the bottom. Shh, shh, man. I'm just putting it back. <laughs> Nice. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> this toot pokes his head. <laughs> Just toot. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> They're like, get out! <laughs> Girls bath! Um, okay. As, as it gets darker and the staff seems to feel more powerful in your hand and the light gets a little bit brighter and the moon at the top matches the orbit and the rotation yeah. of Turnus in the sky as well. I think uh, I think we, we refill the bath create food and water etc yeah, um, and there's like the blue stuff like floating in and just we're just being lit I think by the by the moon of the staff essentially Maya's um, got a sort of blue going, glowing orb on the end of her staff as well yeah. so we can both be like <laughs> <laughs> honestly like this is this is the most incredible vibes this bath like yeah, right? we've got great lighting it's like we've got effectively like this great bath bomb going on. We've been flying. Yeah. World's best bath. We've also got one of those like little bamboo like shelves for your books. Yes. But it's but yes. it's got like little it's got like a uh, charcuterie board on it. <laughs> <laughs> We're just like having a charcuterie board in the bath. Ten out of ten. Um, oh, bath sounds wicked. That as, sounds as, like an amazing <laughs> bath. Dinner, dinner's close. Fairy po pokes his head into you, Alexa. Oh, would would you mind getting the others for dinner, please, Alexi? Thank you. Yes, right. Um, does Toot have a room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we've yeah, got a room. Yeah, got a room. First, we go to Toot's room. Yeah, in there. <laughs> <laughs> Look out the window of Toot's room. Uh, this, yeah, I left the field. <coughs> Good luck. I've gone. <laughs> anyway, enjoy Try that. The other rooms. <laughs> I want punch go. Where are the lot of you? Hello! <laughs> We're Hello. in the bar! We're in the bar! <laughs> splish, splish! <laughs> um, do you need a minute? Why a minute? Uh, uh, it's not gonna take me a whole minute! To do. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner's ready! Oh, um, you should have said! Um, we'll come right away! Where's Toot? I don't know, you were with Toot! <coughs> no, that was hours ago. Oh, how long have we been in the bath for? I don't know. A you very, me. very long time. In a bath, you I, vibe, you thrown it out, you went for a fly. I think it's been it all day. Yeah, <laughs> we've just been in there yeah. having the it's time. Like a spa day, mate. Yeah, oh. yeah absolutely. The two Face of us masks. down here really needed the toilet for a long time. <laughs> you can pee outside. I had a lot of apples yesterday. <laughs> it's not a pee I need. <laughs> <laughs> you should have gone while we were flying around the uh, building. You had your window. <laughs> like, uh, like a dad, like a suburban dad, Alexi is going to go outside the front door and yell, "Toot! Dinner's ready." For in very far distance, you hear this. Ooh. Yum yum. <laughs> Followed by the like, as Derry comes flying up around the corner. No, Derry Dar is tragically low. Like, for vibes long alone, vibes God. alone. I love, I love. It's like uh, a little pig you see, like. <laughs> so Toot comes up and, for some reason, has cards. He's just shuffling cards, and we'll just shuffle the cards. Put them in his little tummy drawer. When when he puts them in his little tummy drawer, is there sort of a less <laughs> rattling than there was before? No, no, there's, okay, there's just okay. as much rattling. Good, good. And just just checking. In there and just, well. I didn't realise you played cards. Oh. <laughs> the 
the things we learn, I suppose. <laughs> You're different. Hmm? It's not un- unpleasant, just you've changed. Oh. <laughs> Maybe something in the air agrees with me. Maybe. Um, I know you don't eat as such, but um, I sort of tried to help with dinner. Would you well like done. to sit? Oh, I, I would will... like it if you would sit at the table with us. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. We are prunes! <laughs> Can you be prunes down here at oh, the no, dinner table? Oh no, this is coming down, <laughs> down, <laughs> coming down the stairs. <laughs> Towel just, like, uh, both of us just going prunes! <laughs> in matching dressing gowns, <laughs> big floppy <laughs> slippers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Spa day. Spa day. Spa day. Spa day. <laughs> like Myla just proudly putting her fingers up, just being like, prunes. <laughs> clean. I clean. have never been this clean in my entire life. You I've got relentium in places. <laughs> <laughs> we flew. We flew in the bar. Is that a euphemism? <laughs> a what? A, a euphemism. What's a sheep got to do with it? Hey. I think that's up to your hey. inspiration. For <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It's really like Sasha joke day. I'm into it. Oh, what's what's tomorrow's joke? Can we have it early? Shit. <laughs> You've had two today. <laughs> <laughs> had two. Don't be greedy. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, <laughs> would anyone like a drink? Yes, so, I'd love one. Yes, quickly. Um, and Alexis cooked us a wonderful meal. Um, all by himself, but please come, well come, come enjoy. He serves Thank just you. a plate of, of charcoal ash. No, 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 it's it's, it's nice lamb yeah, and yeah, co- yeah. cooked greens, it's, it's, it's the full thing. Mm. If you look in the corner, there's yeah, definitely yeah. some burnt bits. Yeah, yeah. That's okay, you're trying his best. Yeah, you, 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 you. No, Alexi did all this, it was, it was fantastic. The crispy bits are the best. Uh, right, you're going to really like the bin in there, then. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. <laughs> <laughs> Come well, <laughs> prestidigitation, prestidigitation. <laughs> and we'll just kind of make something. And Can you make a purple one and call it bath water? Probably. <laughs> we'll take out a little. A, uh... Have you become an influencer in the last, <laughs> last couple of hours? <laughs> Myla's bath water. Myla uh, is just. Myla no, is. No, 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 Bad. Yeah. It's 300 he, gold a piece. No. <laughs> He's doing the sign. He's doing the sign. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I will um, fast forward this to next week if we need to. That's fine. <laughs> Myla's become a Taylor Swift music video <laughs> very, very quickly. Okay, so. Uh... <laughs> Yeah. She wears a big staff. She, she drives a big bar. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so uh, to, we'll mix together Calvados, uh, some various bits and pieces that I assume. Uh, sure, why not? Has. Yeah, yeah, he's a yeah, wizard. Why he's got the, the very well stocked uh, booze cabinet, and we'll mix some stuff together. And we'll pour out, and at the last minute, we'll take out a small purple sphere from the tummy drawer, crack it into each, and it makes a bright purple drink. I, think, I believe this one is called bath water. <gasps> ah! And we'll give each. I swear to God. Ah. I'm, I'm, all right, what, what does it do? It is Beacon of Hope. Oh. oh, all right, you can do that. So, oh. yeah. Yeah. Oh. so it's speaking of hope. So you know, uh, you've got advantage on wisdom saving throws through this dinner, <laughs> and death saving throws. So, oh, we're yeah. gonna need it. <laughs> it's very unmasked. It was Alexi exactly. all along. Oh, uh, and yeah. So we'll just cast that. And uh. you disgust me. <laughs> Rightly so, yeah. Uh, so, so, how was everyone's day? We flew a bath. We'll take a little towel and start kind of wiping a glass. <laughs> I, you flew a bath. We flew a bath. Well, I mean, I was in the bath <coughs> for flew the bath. I was merely a passenger in the flying bath. You were an excellent navigator. I did shout left, right, left a bit. Oh no, we're tipping out a lot of water on that man below us. A lot. That would explain the damp man. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, the damp man. <laughs> the damp man. <laughs> and we look out the window and there's just a man like, <laughs> he's dripping. <laughs> he just looks sad. He hasn't moved. He's just standing there. Why is it always me? But it's also, it's also <laughs> glitter and like... <laughs> Just slices me. of cucumber slices. Slices. a couple of times it's gonna get fucking wild <laughs> why was a bath floating flying we wanted it to but yeah good question I guess. No. good time good yeah. time flying bath why not we were in the bath uh, you know I, I oh and then it flew I meant f- how did this come about oh uh, I've been practicing some stuff and there's a stuff which I finally Hi. have. What? Hi. Hello. What? <laughs> Hello, Farry. Hello. I. Um. It's 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 it's, it's the stuff. It's the yeah. stuff. We all understand this. Yeah. I... <laughs> oh. Hello. Oh. Do... Is that new by any chance? Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Hello. Hello. Hello, Mr. Staff. Hello. Tears of Tunis. That's me. Cool beans. Um, that was crazy. Do you know any jokes? No. Oh. Did you just stop the shit? We should throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a nickname you'll prefer? I, no. Uh, please feel tea? free to name me. Tot? T Tot? Totty? Oh, good lord. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just stick with stuff. Very new. That's fine. Stuff. Um, Did you fly the bath? I, I helped. Ah! But the girl here, she's the one. Ah, one of five. Did that um, staff just point? <laughs> yeah, I know. It sort of just... <laughs> <laughs> How odd. <laughs> I am unnerved. <laughs> cool. We're both uh, wood, buddy. Oh, no, that's not... Uh, lost the voice. Lost the voice. Yep. <laughs> Crank, right, fine, Maya's right, just going to take her staff and be like... Hello? <laughs> Can Alexi <laughs> throw his voice? No. <laughs> oh, go on, please, please. <laughs> Alexi just goes... Hello. <laughs> is it me you're looking for? <laughs> Conveniently, like he is always drinking but never actually drinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I have a talking staff too. Oh, I'm so afraid. Um, <laughs> cool. Uh, I have some questions for you specifically. Sure. Um. You good? I'm great. Cool. How are you? Do you eat? No. Do you need anything? I'm good. Cool. Uh, do you know your moon's going to explode? It's what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's good now. It's ruined now. Yeah. And the light just goes a little bit dimmer. <laughs> oh no. Is that staff having a panic attack? <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> staff b- bends over double and puts his hands on his knees and breathes deeply. <clears throat> cool. No. Uh, I'll go on. Yeah. Um, mm. <clears throat> so we almost met in the future, but now it's the past. Very, listen, there's a lot. Um, I'm afraid the moon might be in danger. I only get created when danger is a thing. That sounds about right. So, whatever this is, <laughs> whatever this is, I guess. Did that staff just gesture <laughs> with its hands? Cast, it cast, <laughs> cast your mage hands and then just, just like, like, yes, whatever this is, we're in this together. God, this is a Rayman staff. <laughs> I also just feel like danger is quite a strange notion that is objective between different people. Therefore, how would the staff know what danger is <clears throat> and when to be created? I don't like fire, but, you know, that's dangerous to me. Right. It's context. I believe context is key. Carry on, this conversation isn't about me. That means you don't like termites either. Oh, no. Oh. Don't. Don't. Oh, Not at the dinner table. I, I promised yeah. I never would. No, and I appreciate that. Thank yes. you. Good. Uh, great. Like uh, you and I shall get to know each other. Yeah, we should have a chat away from the weirdos. I don't think that's going to happen, but oh. we shall give it our best shot. All right. Uh, but for now, dinner. Uh, yes, yum, yum. yum. <laughs> 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 this stuff, it gets me. <laughs> I met a rather interesting man after Toot and I, well, after Toot had finished hitting me on the head with a hammer. Mm-hmm. Um, I think uh, if it's okay, I'm going to grab a plate and go upstairs with the stuff so we can do that. And then while that I'm away, would you mind doing this <clears throat> scene no, without me? Oh, you need me here? Okay, I will not do that. 
I mean, potatoes. <laughs> Are <you> staying? <laughs> yes. Um, he asked me very importantly what our goal is well what what all of our goals are individually and what our purpose or our drive is as a collective did he ask as a collective or did he ask you about your friends and you assumed it was everybody together he specifically asked both right um, oh well that's that's fairly easy right yeah yes but i i don't mean objective he didn't mean objective more what what is uh, driving us to do that very sort of pokes his head in. What what did this guy look like? Dwarf, uh, you know, sort of. The DM didn't quite explain him that well, so. Sounds like Vanda. <laughs> <laughs> Vanda, he's got sort of a vague dwarf-like shape, but no <laughs> actual <laughs> features. Dwarf. Yes. Uh, uh, Short, but no, no, no distinguishing yeah, no. characteristics. He's, he's, he's otherwise. Nondescript flesh pile. Vanda. He's an old, he's an old fighter from. He's retired here, but he, he pokes his nose around. That explains the rapier hilt. Oh well, that's that's quite nice. Oh, thank you. It, it, no, pop and visit. You might have. You might. You might have something for you to help you out since you're in a bit of a, a rut. What's yeah. his deal? Hmm. Xander. Yeah. What? Well, mm, okay. Uh, if I was a person hmm. who was hanging out in a village. Uh, I don't know that I'd spend as much of my time giving cryptic messages to strangers. It's just oh, so really, I would. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I'd probably spend my time avoiding strangers, but I'm never one for people. He's also on brand. He's, he's a bit weird, but he's good at summing people up. He keeps an eye on things, make sure we don't get too many bad apples that come through a few. So I'm not allowed to speak to Vander again until I can answer this question about us as a collective and our drive. Our drive is to, is to stop the world from ending. That's an objective. What? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like not wanting the world to end is a good drive. It's a good, that, yeah, that it's feels a good, like a good it's a motivating it's a motivator. force. Yes. So survival. But not for us, for the world. Yeah. And I would survive. The future. In most things. I feel I have not been a good friend. Hmm. To whom? Oh, to anyone. <clears throat> for a very long time. Hmm. Anyway, um, I'm not we, sure that that's the case, dear. I think really? you're a good friend. Yeah. Huh. Well, you, I appreciate this. this. My sheep like you. You've been there when we needed you. You've been very interested in our growth and development. And we've been there for you. And that's you what friends are for. So. It's a reciprocal thing. I appreciate that. Huh. I'm learning. And you only gave some of us a cursed object meant to control us. I think that's I think that's yeah. what I'm that's what I'm getting. It's okay. That was like you were under some bad influences. There you you a gave us a cursed time. object. Oh, um, the metal objects I gave people as gifts. They were originally designed as a failsafe in case anyone turned. I realise now that was a particularly harsh. He thing was to going do. through. Oh, it. I just like my acorn. Oh no, it's still a lovely acorn. Okay. Uh, but now I, I promise not to use them as a defence mechanism against you. Okay. I feel that's that's yes. probably what. Yeah, yes. I yes. Feel like, I think there's there's something to be said for not taking on. You know the 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 actions that were taken in a in a sort of self preservation, mm. under greater influence, kind of situation. I think what we know of you now is when you're. When you're not being uh, influenced by others. Your general instincts are kind, caring, friendly. Well, that's nice. Thank you for, thank you. Oh, as in terms of drive, I'm, I'm trying to die. That's my drive. Uh, yes, oh, I think that's. that's yes, I, I rather felt I would be able to answer that one. It was more our collective that was. Um, I mean, Save we're trying to stop world. the moon from us exploding currently. Um, and I realise I'm struggling with your stuff. Just rocks. And <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Well. Obviously, you want to get home. Yes. And I want to make sure you get home. But outside of that, I... It's not... I think you're misunderstanding the home as a place rather than the home as an experience, perhaps. And I want to... I want to help my people. I think my people have maybe been doing some shit they should not. And I think... I think your people are aliens and they've been displaced. Sorry, did I not t say that before? Oh... Yeah. I think Milo's people might be from the moon. Um, and I think that they are, they've maybe been displaced to the bottom of this uh, soul transfer link, and that's how they ended up in the north. Um, 
Do you what? I'll never tell. Do you, <laughs> do you think my family are up on the moon then? I don't know if your family, but definitely your people. Okay. You um, can but find out. Yeah. Either way, we have to go to this soul transfer link in the north. So that does seem to be the way to stop the moon exploding. I assume. I want to get home, but I also want to stop my people from becoming horrible. And I think maybe they did. I also think that maybe they were in difficult circumstances. Possibly. It's well, hard see. to guess the ethics of people who haven't existed yet. Oh, yeah, that is a good point. <sighs> we'll do what we can. Yeah. But, yeah, our drives are the same. You're we want weirdly to solve good at that. Hmm? Oh, the cards. You weren't good at that before. No, I was not. He wasn't good at that before. No, no. I... No. Can I do an insight check? Sure. To notice a collection of behaviours. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> This dice is much better. Don't... The moment you say that, it starts misbehaving. That's okay. This is the best dice ever. 17. Oh, that's actually right. Yeah, cool. No, great. Yeah, 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 17. Yeah, you can definitely suck a read. I'm um, Reese. Uh, yeah, just, he's, seems fine. He's a barman now. He's he's a barman now. Like, he's, yeah. he's, he's, like. Whatever soul they put in him, it still had some bits on it. Yeah, it just had a little, <laughs> little, little just residue. Not, they hadn't quite cleaned off the soul completely, and that's fine. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, so he's, he's just a barman. He's listening. Um, and he's also... He's learned interpersonal skills and card sharking. Yeah. For some reason, he's just fine with cards. He's really enjoying the cards. Can he also do the, like, coin along he the hasn't fingers tried, thing? Well, no, because he's got the Lego hands, so it would just be a coin. Slide. But him sort of attempting <laughs> to do it. He's like... It's like, huh. I like hmm. the idea that he's got a coin and he just slides it until it gets to the edge. And yeah, and then flips slides it, it back. back. Yeah, slides it back. <laughs> then slides it back. It's like, yeah. Um, hmm. You should... You should teach us a game. Oh, understood. Um, what should I teach you? And just for brevity, yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll zoom out from the table yeah. as you begin to teach him. Unless there's anything else you wanted to touch on. Um, the, well, I mean, the only other thing is after dinner, um, if Milo is free, Alexi would Science suggest club. Science Club. Oh, we'll come to that. I think yeah. first we want to do. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, I think we go up to the observatory, Great. open that bad boy up, point the telescope at the, um, at Tunis, mm -hmm. um, and kind of give a historical short form of what is in place and uh, the Lunocratic House of Analysis and Development um, and, you know, where we've gone wrong so far and what our intentions are going forward. And then I kind of, I think four probably gives kind of a, a more lengthy explanation of one, two, three, and five than uh, is really relevant or acquired for the situation. But I think she's probably just feeling kind of a bit disconnected mm -hmm. and, you know, she, she. I think she would feel a lot more confident in what she was doing if some of the others were here. But it's it's just her and the staff. For do you know the role of Tunis? Uh, moon. <laughs> <laughs> Balance. Right. It sounds like whatever happened, Tunis took it on itself to deal with to try Ganshuin. and. To, address the balance. To carry that burden on itself, and it's clearly not working. Hey, DM. Hey. You're not my therapist. <laughs> <laughs> Am I your therapist? <laughs> no, you're no. Alexi's therapist. Alexi. The, the staff is quiet for a moment. You know I can see inside your head, right? <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's there, is, there is a pause. And then, and so, yeah, I can, I can see all of this. And you of Tunis looks like you're trying to do the same thing. We can try and prevent that from happening, but if shit goes down, we've got to stop everything from falling into disorder. That's our lot. That's why you die. That's why you were made. Yeah. It doesn't mean sacrifice necessarily, but it means 
you've got to stop this from getting worse. And I, I think, guess that's why I'm here. I think that there's a sort of quiet moment as um, like a shooting star like in the background. Mm. And um, I think that Four maybe has this realization that um, she feels like she's kind of taking on you know the 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 sort of strains of the other bath members as it were mm. um you know she's she spent a lot of her time feeling like she wasn't doing she wasn't she wasn't one and she wasn't five but she was also like she felt like she was m- trying to mediate and make sure that everything was going to be okay with everybody all the time. And mm. that's like thousands and thousands of years worth of stuff. Um, I think she probably has just like a little cry, you know? Like, she's again feeling like it's all on her to make sure that it's going to be all right. And the staff is just he's like, he's like, yeah, you got to fix it. And I'm like, fuck. I just, like, I know that, but also I'm so tired. <laughs> And like I've gone through, I've watched multiple people, watched Chute get his fucking head blown off, and then I killed him because I couldn't save him, and he was not cool about it. Um, <laughs> Don't agree, Reese. <Rishima. laughs> <laughs> and then you know, Myla was like going through her like loss of family, and Alexi's like lost all of his power and money, which is something he feels really strongly about. And I feel like Ford's just been like. Don't worry, everybody. We just gotta get through to dinner. No problem. And I was like, oh, it's after dinner. I'm, I'm really quite tired now. Um, and I think she spent a lot of like the last couple of weeks just trying to distract everybody from the fact that like, oh shit, it's a lot. So and there's no longer five people. It's just one for her from her perspective. So instead of being the one at the front, maybe four pushing from the back. Maybe you don't need to be up and pushing and pulling and dragging. Maybe just hanging back and encouraging from behind and supporting. And they'll support you in turn. So you're not carrying this by yourself. I think Four intrinsically does not believe that at this time. I think Four is tired <clears throat> and wants to be like, whatever happens to the moon, not my problem. But then she thinks about like Toot and Gary and Farry and Darry and Alexi and Milo is like, oh, fuck. Like, I can't, she she doesn't want to leave Myla to deal with the moons by herself. Like, that's not fair. And, you know, and she doesn't want to leave the rest of them to deal with their own shit by themselves. Mm. Like, it's not fair that any of them have to do it by themselves. And so she's like, well, I guess I'll just go to bed and then I'll get up tomorrow and I'll do it again. It'll be fine. Well, I promise, as long as I'm here, you'll always have a good night's sleep. Yeah. Always. <laughs> and then he's like, shh, 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 no tears on the drinks. No tears on the <laughs> But similar to how when you when you tear up proper tunis that came down, yeah. like you notice little little motes of light come down yeah. as it echoes your emotion. Yeah. There'll be a little knock. If that's okay. Yeah. Um Come in. Four. Four is just like she's like rubbing her eyes and they're just like red and wet. It's a real gross. She's also 17, so like it's, <laughs> it's a fucking mess. Oh, wow. It's like the snot. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. Would you like to be tucked in? Yeah. Us too. <laughs> ah, yes, of course. It's this stuff gets me. Yeah, yeah. Understood. Uh, and we'll start <laughs> tucking in. Hey, Toot. Yeah? Stop talking a minute. <laughs> you want to just sit for a bit? I would like that. Yeah. I think Toot sits down on the bed and I think Four like sort of curls up a little bit and puts her little head on his little lap and they just sort of like sit there for a little bit like, whoa. And the arm will just rest on the shoulders. Yeah. And you both sit and rest and just exists together and quiet. Yeah. 
And the staff's like, hey, guys, you want to hear a joke? And we're like, no, <laughs> not now. Not now. <laughs> Meanwhile. Just science club. Yeah. Last, last little bit for tonight. Um, What's going on? I would say uh, Alexi has borrowed a, um, I imagine Farry has many studies of, yeah, Absolutely. different days of the week. Uh, he's probably asked to borrow the most spartanly decorated one. Uh, sort of drags do. Here you go, here you go. You two have fun now and uh, let me know if you discover anything. Uh, Alexi would have already <laughs> set up everything and then asked Myla if she's busy and wants to science. Oh, I have a packed schedule. Right. That is a joke. It is. That is a joke. Yes. Uh, I knew that. She's funny. I'll leave you to it. Good night. <laughs> is he a spider? He's got a little You know that potion you made blew up? Oh, yes. Do you want to do that again? Yes. Absolutely. In... Fairy's house. Right, okay, so I say we do it in here, but we test it outside. I think last time it blew up just as we were making it. I thought it blew up when it made contact with the ground. Are we thinking of different potions? We've made a lot of potions. We've blown up a lot of things. A lot of things have exploded. <laughs> yes. Should we do this outside? I think we should do it outside. Right. <laughs> we go uh, down into this beautifully manicured garden. Yeah, table yeah. outside. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um, right. You zig, <laughs> I'll zag. We'll get the entire thing worked out. Let's go. Yeah. And I would say after like a bit of that sort of... Are we, are we back in the sheep field again? We're, no, we're, no, we're, things are they're, in, blow they're up in the perfectly yeah. manicured garden with the summer house, obviously. <laughs> okay. With all those priceless Ming vases. <laughs> it sounds like a greenhouse <laughs> that's just around the edges. at one point fly over and obliterate. That's where they are. Um, <laughs> at one point during the whole process of making things, uh, Alexi's going, you know, um, I, how are you? Don't say fine. Well, now you've made me want to say that I'm fine. Yes, but I'm asking you not to. Um, well, I'm very clean. Which is good. Not pruny anymore, which is lovely. Oh. I have uh, to get back in the bath. And I'm full of food, which is good. And we seem to be safe and, you know, comfortable for now. That's all good. Um, yeah. Nothing else. You know I don't mean any of that, though, right? <sighs> but, I mean, what else is there for me to say? Uh, but you can just vent. It doesn't have to have a purpose. Uh, I can just listen. We can just quietly work on potions. I just, I was insensitive and I didn't think, and uh, I'm sorry. Oh, so you'd like to apologise? Yes. Not ask me how I feel. No, I wanted to start with asking how you were. Okay. And point out that I fucked up. Right. And I'm trying to be better. Okay. <laughs> this th this conversation has gone places. Yes. <laughs> but back to you. I... Okay. Apology accepted. Uh, but how are you? Like I said, I think right now... Things are okay, and I know what I want to do, and that's what we've got to do. We'll, we'll do it. I, I promise. I think you should understand something, and I want to be very clear that I do not want to talk about it. Right. Um, can we establish a ground rule? Am I allowed follow-up questions, or do I just listen and then, hmm, and that's it? I think you listen, and then I leave. I may be gone for some time. I immediately have a follow-up question, but all right. You promise no follow-up questions? Yes. I want to get back to my family. And... Evran. Because he's not dead. And I'm going to go now. I'll see you in a while. And she just sort of 
starts to walk off and then turns into a squirrel and like runs <laughs> runs off. And that is where we're going to end tonight's episodes. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'm Matt Bateman, uh, Reese Lord, and Amy Glock. Thank you so much for watching. Jimmy Creek's been doing all that. Jimmy Creek's been doing all that stuff. Good night, Matt. Good night, Well done. David, Sasha, Naomi, Reese, <laughs> Matt, Jeff. Uh, thank you so much for watching. It's been a great, ridiculous episode. I think that's the hardest I've laughed, cried. <laughs> You're welcome. In a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Level nine was a mistake. I'm, I'm going to live to regret it. Or die to regret it. We'll find out. We will find out. But until then, thank you so much for watching. Stay cool. And we'll see you again in a couple of weeks. Bye, 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 bye. 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 Summon a dragon? <gasps> How could you? Hundreds Limited supply, hundreds specially delivered. I'm gonna eat your faces. Not intentionally. <laughs> Keep going. All right. Uh, dresses. <laughs> dresses. Oh, yes. 27 dresses. Promises were made. Tw um, so the game is called Sexy Goblin. Right. Uh -huh. okay. This one. And this, this is one of them. We're gonna <laughs> and what are you going to do in it? I'm is, just gonna watch. Is, is, is Every hotel's got a yeah, cuck chair. That, <laughs> and then is I didn't realise that's what it was for. And now I can't shake that. that yeah, that's that's, that's for the now. rest of your life. Enjoy. That's the rest of my life. Post credit scene. <laughs> <laughs>